So a common problem in uh, most houses is something called stratification, which is uneven temperatures on each floor. And this can be caused by uh, leaky return airs and a lack of return air on higher up floors. Second floor return air is often a, a big problem. And I've gone back to houses to take measurements and nine times out of 10, I read zero, zero CFM coming out of a second floor return air. A traditional return air system uses joy spaces and stud spaces. They'll trap it with a thermal pan of some sort, whether it be plastic or cardboard, and create a header to create that space to make it its own sort of duct. And then that's brought down into the basement and connected to a main trunk line for the, the furnace. The outcome of having a leaky return air system is that the, the air isn't going to be coming back to the furnace from the rooms that you really need it to, like up on the second floor or over a cold room. In order to heat a room, you need to bring push air into it. And in order to push air into a room, you need to take air out of it. And so without a proper return air system, uh, you're going to have cold rooms, warm rooms all over the place, and you're not going to be able to control it. The simplified return air system is uh, a ducted return air system with a more focused location on the return air. So typically in a hallway or a bonus room, return airs are typically in hallways. If there is a room over a garage, we need to have one uh, in that room just to, to make sure that we have the proper airflow in, in those problem rooms. Um, and so bonus rooms, common areas, that's typically where we would locate them. A simplified return air system, it's best practice to hard duct from, from grill all the way to the basement, right to the trunk line and seal it 100% to keep air tightness in the system. And when I go back to, to take my measurements uh, on a job that's been done like this, I, I can measure the, the exact design or close to exact design CFMs that are required for, for each room, second floor, main floor, basement, doesn't matter. On the second floor, we would install a high wall return air in a common area. But if there is a bonus room over a garage or a, be a bedroom over a garage, that would have to be a, a low wall location. So since we don't have uh, specific return airs in each bedroom, we need to get the air from the bedroom to the return air in the common area. And that's typically done with a door undercut and you can size it based off of the, the CFMs that are required for that room. Another option to transfer the air from a bedroom to a common area would be to have a, a transfer grill built into the door or the wall. We typically use a door undercut for transferring air from a bedroom to a common area. Uh, and that's because bedrooms mostly require 50 to 70 CFMs of air, uh, depending on the size and exposed walls. The things that we've noticed with the simplified return air is that it's easier to install. We're not having to drill a whole bunch of holes and build a whole bunch of headers. The performance of it has just blown the other houses out of the water. Um, we're, we're getting exact design CFMs from our return airs.